FNAF fan games. Sometimes good and sometimes weird. We're not gonna get into that right now. But what we're gonna actually get into is Roblox FNAF fan games. And we're gonna see which one's the best out of all five. And plus this is a five parter. See ya. Hey, you said that there was five games, but clearly in the edit, I saw four, but I don't see those five games. Did you forget to? Yep. So speaking about that fifth game, that fifth game is the, I forgot what it was actually called. We start off with two options, but for now, we're gonna go solo. Because with multiplayer, it's practically a different game. Case two, intruders. The first thing you would want to do is hide. If you have a phone near you, call the emergency services. If not, then wait until the intruder leaves the area. If they steal anything, it doesn't matter. Your life is more valuable than your belongings. Remember these steps and you'll know what to do in case of an intruder incident. In level 1, the phone service breaks down and the intruder is trying to come in your house and kill you. At least I think so. But the phone service is ringing again, alerting the intruder towards your presence. Why is that happening? Is a phone service doing this on purpose? Okay. Stop the only thing hiding you and the intruder from it killing you is hiding in the closet and turning off the lights. Bro, can you even see? He can also climb through the fence, but he didn't do that for me. He's kind of dumb. You also have to worry about your sanity. All you have to do to take care of the sanity is look on the cameras. And that's basically all what you have to do. The phone station will eventually come back and you will call them, the making the intruder leave the scene. Well, level one, it really wasn't that bad. It didn't have a music box, which you're gonna know what I mean by it didn't have a music box. But on to the next level. Our character gets a new job at the mall, but again, the intruder tries to come in the office and kill them. But the server IP is not working, so he can't call back. So our character gets back to the cameras and starts doing his work. It's basically the same as the house, except for like the buttons being at different positions. But it's pretty much the same. If he's at a certain area, you hide and turn off the lights but if he's at the door you don't have to turn off the lights and that's just it but it's still good though and then police officers tell you about this things one other abilities that it has mimicking people's voices and faces and it was using your face and your voice to kill people hey remember what i said about multiplayer being practically a different game yeah, so the next Five Nights at Freddy's inspired place is in the hospital. So we start off in, oh well, our character is actually insane. Well, by the looks of things, our character might have got put in a sane asylum. For the most devious deeds. Or this is a different person. But anyways, since this is the final part, I might as well set the mood. Where did everybody go? Suddenly, everybody's gone. Maybe they all left without me. 
I must find them. Say up to me! That was some W voice I didn't write. Like our character said, we keep on looking for our friends until we find two keys and then turn on the generator to get up the floors. Warning, again, I'm about to be voice acting, bro. So if you don't want any cringe, you better skip, bro. You better skip. So many people arrived. M multiple people did. I hope they can help me find the others. So again, we're trying to find our friends or get out. I don't really know what this guy is even planning to do at this point, but there's a locked gate. So we need to open it up. We find a switch and turn it and then a office lays upon me. A book lays open, probably for me. The other generators need to be booted up. The switch that was pulled should get it going again. It may take a while. Okay, there's a lot of things to talk about here. We got several intruders coming after us this time. What do I mean by several? Three, each going at different sides of the office trying to get to you. At the same time, as soon as you close one of the doors, they go up in five seconds. For the third one, you have to turn off your lights and wait for it to leave. And then there's a pop-up jump scare that you have to delete. Yeah, and I believe that's it. And now the gate is open so we can explore more to find our friends. Oh, what? So somebody shot the intruder or stopped him for a little bit. But now we have the button to leave this place. You know what, I'm not even gonna bother. So we get to our gate and open it, and then there's an intruder that doesn't decide to kill us, but leaves us alone. And then we leave. Well, it leaves us off with fear. With the intruder, it was a unique game. You should probably play it. So, yeah.